again for this episode of Robot Show and Tell. I have Select Converter D.A. Tona, and he is definitely yellowed. He also has a floppy spoiler here in the back. Uh, sorry about both of those. He's been in a storage container for a while, and the floppiness I knew about, the yellowness, not so much, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I can peroxide him. He is a super race car from Galveon. He has six wheels. And although he is a super defender, you can see that overall he is very small compared to this Super Gobot Zemon. He does have uh, die cast content, so he's a lot heavier than the standard uh, converters that would have been on the shelf, you know, next to him as alternatives. Um, for instance, here is Cash, the Cash Register robot, all plastic, but. You know, still one of my favorites. He is very cool. Takatoku definitely tried very hard on these Galveon molds, and it has some great engineering, even at this cheap price point, that can't really support it. When you look at him, you can see he's got this little floppy bit here. You can already see the spoiler floppiness, but you'll see in Transformation he's got some pretty cool tricks that they tried. And you got to give it to select. However they made these stickers, they sure do hold up well for being so old. On to transformation. To start off with, we're going to go around here to the back. These are die cast chunks here for the feet, obviously unpainted. Just unclip those. I'll clip them up here. The upper thigh is also um, a chunk of die cast, and as are these uh, arms and then the linkage between them. So it's Pretty solid. Down here at the feet, we're going to rotate around. We do have a um, little plastic foot that's going to flip out. These are kind of floppy also, so don't be surprised if I have to do this several times. But it is cool they are die cast, gives some a little bit of heft to the figure. Moving on to the arms, they flip out in a fairly standard manner, but then they are on this plate that is going to slide down like so, being very careful. This is an all-plastic piece. And that puts the arms out of the way so that we can get to the head. Now this whole backpack piece is going to flip down, and as it does, the head flips up for the dramatic head reveal. Always love that. I do think this is cool. The chest has a slot that the floppy piece from car mode is going to plug into. Now, the tolerances on this, again, I don't know if it ever worked when it was new, but it certainly does not work well now. I only plug this in to show you guys this, but that is a very breakable piece. We will straighten up the arms just a smidge. There we go. And now the backpack. So as we discussed, this is very floppy. These have no hold or tension whatsoever. This should just pop up here. And then these would hang at light up, like a 45 degree angle. Mine just flop around. So, you know, it is what it is. If I put it in position and then release, they fall down. So if he's on a shelf, you need to make sure he's standing against the wall for best display options. And speaking of display, that noggin, also way too complex for the molding budget they had. Looks like a metal werewolf chest sticker we've seen he's got the dope 80s arm control sticker that you had to have back then some nice shininess here like day one and the crotch of course got to get a good look at the crotch there nothing else really in terms of sticker detail pretty plain fix the foot so that we can see his very cool anime stance very heroic until you notice his free swinging arms just dangling there, kind of walking along happy like. But he does cut a pretty cool figure, um, other than his uh, goofy head, his total lack of real, you know, articulation of any kind. He is essentially a small statue. Uh, how small? Let's see. Here he is again with Cash in robot mode. You can see he's like a big brother to this guy. And unfortunately not a big brother to Mr. Zemon here. 
who absolutely towers over him. Though, to be fair, he's like twice as expensive at the time. So, you know, it is what it is. You bang for your buck. And while his backpack is being agreeable, I will take this moment to say thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed and take care until next time.